guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Rebecca and I'm a stay-at-home mom to two little kids. But today, it's not about them. Today, it's gonna be about me. Today, we are doing a closet declutter for myself. <laughs> I've been meaning to declutter my closet for a while and I'm just now getting around to it. So before we really get into this closet declutter, I want to remind you to please hit that like button if you do enjoy this content at all. I do mom life content, reselling content, as I am an online reseller, as well as a stay-at-home mom, and general lifestyle content. So if you are interested in any of those types of things, please consider hitting the like button and subscribing to come back for more videos. I post one video each week, usually on Wednesday, if things go well, and I would love to have you along for the journey. Okay, so let's talk about clothes for a second. I don't feel like I have a ton of clothes. I am not by any means any kind of fashionista. I feel like I just trade out my clothes a lot. All of my clothes pretty much are thrifted, including like everything I'm wearing today. I just get bored of the stuff I have and trade things out. Some things I keep for years, some things maybe one year and then I wanna trade it out. Now I will say that I am actually a pretty organized person and I stay on top of this stuff quite a bit. So I kind of declutter as an ongoing thing. When I find things that I'm like, I don't really wear this, I'll take it out, I put it in a bag or a box that I have over here, and I will eventually put it into my reselling uh, inventory, and I kind of uh, go through my things that way. Now, I did not do that this time, that way I can do it all at once and make a nice video for you guys. I've officially run out of hangers, definitely the time to do this was kind of bugging me, but we're getting here today, so we're going to get rid of everything. We're not gonna get rid of everything. We're gonna get rid of the things that I don't want them to wear anymore. I think I'm gonna try to do this KonMari style and pull everything out of my closet and put it on my bed. So this is the closet. Um, this is actually the only bedroom in my house that has a closet. So my husband's is over here, not gonna touch his. And this is mine. And then I also have a little dresser over to the side here. And that just has shorts and then like socks, bras, and underwear. There are things I'm going to also go through in there. And I think I want to move things around a little bit. So we might play with that, but we'll see. First, we're going to pull everything out of here. Well, I'll show you what it looks like. Then we'll pull it all out. But you can kind of see this is just what it looks like. I do have things organized. I've said before, I'm very a very organized person. I really am. So I have right now sweaters, which really need to come out because it's now sweater season, but sweaters and then tank tops, t-shirts, long sleeves, sweatshirts, dresses, and they are pretty well color coordinated in each section. So I have that. Then I have stuff up here. So I have like jeans, leggings, pants or sweatpants, t-shirts. I think some like long sleeve t-shirts all the way in the back. <laughs> I have a binder that I keep some stuff in. And then this is kind of a mess too, but I have these, which I do keep like, these have workout clothes and this is some extra stuff. So I keep some clothes in there, like pajamas and that one. All of this stuff is not my closet. Some of that's reselling stuff. We're not gonna worry about it. And then we have this dresser. Once again, all these dudes are reselling. Don't just ignore those. So we have this dresser here. And yeah, I don't know. I kind of want all of my clothes in my closet, but I don't know what to put in here then. So we'll have to see. We're gonna pull all this stuff out at least and put it on the bed and see what we can do with it. I guess Santa's gonna be the star of the show for a little bit. huge cliche in saying this because I feel like all the decluttering videos I've ever watched everyone says this but holy cow I I really thought I didn't have that many clothes uh that much clothing but goodness gracious look at this 
it's a lot. <laughs> I'm not a minimalist, obviously. Uh, I'm not trying to be a minimalist. Kind of feel like maybe I should <laughs> after all this. As you did notice, I do hang up pretty much all of my clothing or as much as I can. I would hang everything if I were able to. I think my cat is sneaking into the closet back there. Do you see this? Sansa. She's gonna get stuck back there somewhere. I do like to hang everything. I don't hang my pants just because I don't have the room. If I did, I would. I just find it so much easier to go through my things and see them when they're hanging. I just love doing that. I feel like I don't even know where to start. All the stuff that was hanging is going to be hanging again. I don't put things away for winter or something like that. Oh my gosh, I didn't even pull my shorts out. Hold on, there's more. Can't forget about these. Okay, now that's everything. I don't quite know where to start. I think two baskets for workout clothes, one summery and one wintery. I mean, if I can fit all of it in one, that'd be great, but I just don't think it's gonna happen. I would like one of them to have my leggings in. I didn't used to ever wear leggings. I was like, no, leggings are not pants. But you know what? I've, I've finally, after 30 years, I've come around. Leggings can be pants sometimes, a lot of times really, but I would like them in like a drawer in like the file. I want to fold like KonMari style, whatever, Marie Kondo's thing. Um, I would like to fold them in that like file system. They'd be easier to get to, I think. And my shorts also in one. So that's four drawers. One I always keep my pajamas in. So that's five. And then one would be like swimsuits or like underclothes for the winter, things like that. I don't know if I should start there. I guess I'll start there because I think that stuff's on top. All right, so in reality, I should pull all this stuff out and clean behind it, but I'm just not gonna do that today. So I'm gonna start with my leggings. I think I definitely wanna keep my pajamas in like a top drawer, cause I can easily just grab out the top. There's no top to these. So I can just grab stuff out. And then some other stuff I can probably put lower down on like the necessity totem pole. Like pretty sure my workout gear can go in the bottom. And then shorts for now can go in the bottom because it's not short season. And also probably like, I don't know. I think I'm gonna put my leggings up here. That's my point. I'm gonna put my leggings up here for now. See what I can fit in there. So some of these um, I had like last year and they're just like, these are more like a workout legging. Yeah, these are literally like cuddle duds. <laughs> so I'm gonna put them in the workout drawer. Does that look like file folded enough? I'm not doing this perfectly, so that'll be fine for now, right? These are the same thing. They're like workout leggings. Okay, these ones I'm gonna get rid of. These are like all in motion, the Target branded ones. I got these from a yard sale for like two bucks, but they're like that silky material and they just don't stay up on me. These ones I got, I think a year ago or something. I don't know, I'm not gonna keep them. They have like mesh down here and that mesh kind of just like hurts. So I don't wanna keep those. Okay, so there's all my leggings. I think I have one pair in the wash right now, but I decluttered two pairs out of there. And then we'll see once I get to the workout gear, um, I might declutter those as well. We'll have to see. I think I'm gonna grab my shorts next because I know like I just finished wearing them during the summer and I can just put them in one of these bottom bins. So here's all the shorts I own and they are um, not like my athletic shorts. They're my casual shorts. So here's all of my shorts. Pretty simple, fit perfectly. We're good with that. Next, I'm gonna grab my pajamas, I think. And I don't have a lot of pajamas, so that shouldn't take too long. So I'm just gonna put them in this other top one for now. And uh, we'll see what else I end up putting in there. I might be able to free up another one of these bins. Those aren't getting folded Marie Kondo style. They're just too flimsy. Okay, so I've got my pile of workout gear here. Some of the stuff I've had for so long. I think I'm gonna part ways with this Under Armour set. This is like a base layer and I don't know, I just don't love it anymore. Okay, this shirt I'm gonna get rid of. It's a really nice workout shirt, but I've had it for nine years maybe. And if you, if you work out and you have workout clothes, you know that like sometimes you just can't get the smell of sweat out of them anymore. And that's one of those items. So I'm going to be getting rid of that one. And then this one is the same way. They're great shirts, but honestly they just stink. And I've tried so many things to get the stink out and they, it's not coming out. So I've gotten new shirts since then that I think will work better anyway. And then this is actually the top to the pants that Under Armour set 
it's just it doesn't fit quite the way I'd like it to anymore. This pair of workout leggings fits pretty well but it's more of like a mid-rise and I feel like they just kind of slide down a lot on me so I think I'm gonna part ways with them as well. So I think that's all of my workout leggings. I have three pairs of black and two purple ones. Purple is my favorite color. I really don't need this many, but I think I'm going to try to filter through all of them and work out in them and see which ones I might want to part with. This is another one of those shirts I've just had for a long time. I got this when I went to basic training in the army, so it's been 13 years. It's pretty worn out. I think that's all of my long sleeves. I really only have two and one's like really heavy, but I think I have some items I had hanging that I was using as like athleisure that I kind of wanted to downgrade to workout gear. But that's all we got for now. We'll put more in a little bit later. So now I'm moving on to the summery workout gear, which I have more of. I have one pair of capris down here already. Yeah, I think the rest are shorts and like tank tops and t-shirts. I think these shorts I'm going to sell. They look really cool, but they're just like a little bit short on the inseam. So they have like the built-in running liner, the underwear or whatever, but I feel like they kind of ride up in the middle, which is not what you want. I'm also gonna part with these bike shorts. They have mesh over here. I'd like to have a pair of completely solid ones. I'm not really into the mesh look. I don't need a whole bunch of tank tops. I think I'm gonna sell this one. It's an old navy one, it's kind of nice. I'm gonna get rid of this one. I think I just grabbed this from a thrift store. It just doesn't fit very well. It's no brand on it. This is just a basic t-shirt and yeah, I don't know. I feel like I don't like the cotton as much anymore. This one I'm gonna get rid of. This was from when I was in Cuba. I was deployed to Cuba and I did like a Thanksgiving day run and we got these shirts, but it's too big on me. This one I really don't wear. I wore this um, and got this for like a charity event or something. I needed a bright orange short shirt, but I don't really wear it anymore. And this is just like the one that they give you at Planet Fitness. All right, so that's my summer workout drawer. There's a little bit of space in there, but it's pretty full. So this leaves me with like this full empty drawer and then this one is like half full. So these are my sweatpants. I don't have that many. I used to have a ton and I kind of weeded them out. So I think I'm gonna try to put them in this drawer. I feel like those fit okay in there. I have five pairs of sweatpants. I'm trying to get away from wearing sweatpants so much, but they're just so comfy. I don't have many swimsuits. <laughs> I had these bottoms, which um, way too tiny for me now. I, I can smell it. It like reeks of sunscreen and chlor chlorine. Haven't even worn a swimsuit in probably two or three years. And then I had two swim tops, which are really similar. I basically have this black one and this black one, this one's pretty rough. I've had it for a long time. It's from Wet Seal. Anyone remember that uh, store in the mall? Wet Seal? I used to go there, buy their clearance rack stuff. So I think I'll part with that one. Okay, so I have a bunch of these camisoles. I used to wear camisoles a lot under like v-neck type stuff. So I think I'm gonna get rid of a lot of these, but sometimes I do like to wear them just for an extra layer of warmth in the winter. Gonna get rid of the white ones, they're pretty dingy. Okay, so I narrowed it down just to three, two gray ones and a black one. I think that'll be fine. So next we have all of my like, almost like long johns, I guess. They're for underclothes. I have this like thin silky one, but I feel like these thinner ones don't really keep me as warm as I was hoping. This is my only nude colored one. This one's LL Bean. But yeah, like I said, it just, I feel like it doesn't keep me warm. So I think I'll keep these for, I think I'm going to start on the hanging stuff now. So I have a cardigan section. I have two flannels. And then I bought this at a yard sale this past summer. It just says Pennsylvania. It's like a vintage sweatshirt and it is really cozy, but I don't know. I don't love the graphic as much as I thought it would. I really want a Pennsylvania shirt, like sweatshirt but I don't think this is it. So I think I'm gonna sell this one. This is just a plain navy blue sweatshirt. I just don't wear navy blue a ton because I feel like it blends in with jeans. I don't know. I just don't, I don't reach for navy blue a lot. So I think I'm gonna pass on that one. I really loved this sweatshirt when I first got it, but it's from IZOD. It just feels a little bit like, 
I don't know, it doesn't stretch quite enough. It's a little restricting. Here's another one I'm gonna sell. This is like a compression code gear under armor. Um, it's just, it's too compressing. <laughs> it's my size, but it's, it's really tight and it's not comfortable. So here's where I run into with, with like athleisure versus workout gear. Like this is literally a running top and I don't know if I should keep it as like, I have to have it either workout or athleisure because once I start working out and it's gonna get smelly and stuff. So I'm gonna put all these kinds of shirts, I think on this side and then just kind of look through them later and decide which ones I wanna keep for athleisure and which ones I want to work out in. This one is Under Armour as well. I'm gonna sell this one. It just, it's so lightweight that it does not keep me warm, but I don't really wear it in like the spring or anything either. It doesn't stretch. It's not that kind of material. So to work out in it, it's just not very comfortable. So I'm gonna sell it. Here's a sweatshirt that was actually my husband's um, from high school. And I stole it when I was pregnant with our first, but, cause it doesn't fit him. And uh, I don't really want to wear it either. So I'm going to just donate that. These are the ones that I had trouble getting rid of. So this is um, a sweatshirt from when I was deployed is the unit I deployed with. And I don't wear it, it doesn't fit great, but it is kind of hard to just like part with it, but I don't need to keep it. So I'm gonna part with it. I only have four dresses right now because I don't really wear dresses. This one I bought over a year ago. Um, and I thought it'd be like a little bit dressier to wear like on a date night. We don't go on date nights. <laughs> and we do very occasionally and I feel like I just wear like jeans and a shirt. So oh, nowadays like all these snaps are functioning and I don't know if I'd feel comfortable in that. So I think I'm just gonna sell it. I know I never wore it. I got it from the thrift store to start with, but yeah, I don't know. Just looking at it, it doesn't look like my style. This one I just got off Poshmark like less than a year ago, but it fits kind of big. It's like a Harry Potter. I saw on my sweater that I'm up to no good, but it's kind of peeling a little bit. Here's another like half zip shirt that I really liked. It's actually a size smaller than what I typically wear, but it did fit me. It just feels, oh no, it's actually two sizes smaller. Oh my gosh, it's an extra small. I don't, I'm not an extra small, um, but I feel like it just doesn't fit this is one I don't think I wore it all last year, but it's just a Banana Republic. It's super soft and stretchy, but these like lightweight t-shirts or long sleeves, I just, I'm too cold in them. I never choose to wear them. So here's another one I'm gonna part with. It's a Columbia shirt and it just, I don't like the neckline and I think someone like stretched it out a lot on the front. I had it, gotten it from a yard sale, but I just don't really choose to wear this one. I just got this one at a yard sale over the summer as well. It's crazy tie-dye. Um, I did wear it quite a bit, but I'm not sure I really love, it sounds so silly, but this is such bright yellow, like right near my face. I don't like that. <laughs> I think I'm just going to sell it instead. This shirt is kind of cool. I picked it up from a thrift store. It's for Glacier Park in Montana. I've never been to Glacier Park. I've been to Montana, not to Glacier Park. I feel like I'm just not feeling it anymore. I don't think I like that it's like a giant rectangle down the middle of me. So I think I am going to probably donate this one. It has like quite a bit of wash wear to it. This one I'm gonna sell. It's this Threads for Thought Reactive. It was from like a Stitch Fix, Stitch Fix box, but it's navy blue and it's pretty oversized. I just don't really wear it. This is a Columbia t-shirt, which is oversized and cozy, but once again, it's just too big. I don't really wear it, it's too oversized. Okay, so I have all of these tank tops. They're pretty basic. Um, I don't do anything fancy with tank tops, but I don't think I've worn a tank top in like two years. Cause the problem is like, I have little kids. I have my baby, I guess is like 19, almost 19 months old, something like that. <laughs> But um, like these are stretchy and you know, I hold her on my hip a lot and then they pull on your clothes and expose you. So I haven't worn tank tops like this in a long time, but they're nice and they're all like basic solid colors. So I think I'm gonna actually fold them and put them up on my shelf back in the corner um, until I do end up wearing them again. Cause I think I will just not at this stage of life. <laughs> We're making good progress. I think I only have one pile of the hanging stuff left. I love this color <laughs> but I'm not sure I love the fit of it anymore 
It's actually a size small. I'm not really a small, but it does kind of fit. But I think I'm going to sell this one. This I bought for my daughter's first birthday last year. Or actually, it was this year. It's just in the beginning of the year. It was a rainbow theme. Um, and I did wear it, but I don't really see myself wearing it much past that. I can hear my children, which means you can probably hear my children. <laughs> my mom is with them. This sweatshirt I'm going to sell, it is also Under Armour. I didn't realize I had so much Under Armour. It's all like thrifted or secondhand, I can assure you. But I got this off of Curtsy and it's not the size that they said it was. It's too big. It's a large. This one I'm going to sell. I got this when I was pregnant with my son. It's super stretchy, which is what was uh, handy, but I don't really like the strings and the V. I don't know. I don't like it. I'm going to sell it. I'm going to get rid of this one too. It um, it was nice. My mom got it for me for Christmas a few years ago, but I just don't love stripes. This cardigan, I'm going to get rid of. I've had it for a while and I just don't love the colors. I don't really like tan stuff. It just blends in with my skin. So I feel like these are all things I could either keep as active wear or I could work out in. I'm not really sure what I want to do. I think this one I'll keep as, uh, as athleisure. I think this one I'm going to keep as athleisure for now too. It's really like cottony and soft and I just got it this year so I don't really want to stink it up yet. It's really nice so I'll keep that one. I like this one too but I have, I basically have four of these to pick through. I actually think this orange one, I think I'm going to get rid of this one altogether. It does have like a little stain I think somewhere on it. I don't know. I just don't wear this one that much. I think it's because it's orange. I don't really wear orange. So now we have this one, this one, and this one. I'm kind of thinking maybe this black one would be better for working out. And then I think I'll keep these two as athleisure pieces for now. So now I have three like active wear t-shirts. This Under Armour one, this Under Armour one, and this Nike one. I don't really see myself actually working out in this one. I think this one I actually might just sell. And I think I might just make both of these workout shirts. All of these are hangers of things I've gotten rid of. That's excellent. We're going to keep them all down there. So all of these are short sleeves. And I'll be honest, typically this door uh, cannot open. <laughs> because right here I typically have a stack of totes for reselling. It's a problem, I'm working on it. But anyway, back to not being able to open this. If you've watched my Death to the Death Pile series from my reselling times, I couldn't open this for a long time. I finally was able to open it and now I've made it so I can't open it again. <laughs> so anyway, I have, those are all my t-shirts. And then I have two flannels, four cardigans, and these are all like sweatshirts or like long sleeves, but most of them are sweatshirts because like I said, I get really cold. And then I have like six athleisure pieces right here. And then the three dresses, which are definitely out of season right now, so those don't even really matter. But I love how like empty this looks. Okay, so here's my stack of jeans. Some of these are capris as well. So I think the capris I'm going to put over with the tank tops on that side because they're out of season. I'm gonna get rid of these ones. I just don't love them, they're pretty stiff. These ones don't fit me very well right now. They're a six, and I'm kind of like a four or a six. They just get really baggy in the crotch, you know? I think I might put these, well, I don't know. No, I think I'm just gonna sell these. So that leaves me with four pairs of jeans, then actually five, because I'm wearing one today. So these ones are actually a crop, which is fine. So I think since I have enough room, I'm actually going to try to hang these. Okay, so I hung those up. I could use like an actual pants hanger, but I'm fine with this method for now. I'm just glad I have room to hang my jeans. It's a nice thing. So I have a bunch of t-shirts. These are like the shirts that like you get for free for doing an event, a race, or something like that. I just have so many. <laughs> Some of these are just really worn out. So I'm gonna keep ones that really like mean something more to me. It's so like this one I'm gonna keep is from the Pennsylvania Pump Primers, which my dad is a retired firefighter. He has an antique fire truck and he actually got his fire truck. This is his actual fire truck. And we all have a shirt that has his fire truck on it. So it's really cool because I grew up with his fire truck and everything. So I'm going to keep that one. 
This one I'm gonna keep, this is a fun one. It's pretty worn, but it's from my deployment. It was for um, O'Kelly's, which was an Irish pub that was there. And it's funny because it says it's the only Irish pub on communist soil. Okay, so I just picked five of those t-shirts to keep. Okay, I only kept three long sleeve ones. I had decluttered those like a while ago. I actually decluttered the t-shirts too, there were more. I have two navy blue sweaters. Um, I don't know if I love either of them, but I haven't worn them yet this year. So I have this vintage Orvis one. You can't really tell because I'm not that tall, but it's kind of cropped. I think I'm going to sell this one. This one is also navy blue and it's a nice sweater, but I just feel like I never reached for it. So I think that's pretty much all of those things that I have. I feel like I should put something up here. I might actually just put my purses up there. I wonder if I have a bin for that. I'll be right back. I might have a bin. Okay, I have a green bin. If you watched my toy declutter video, then you might recognize this bin. Not like the most aesthetically pleasing. This I just got from Walmart the other summer, but I'm not loving it. This I had gotten at a yard sale and I thought it was great as like a yard sailing bag and it kind of is, but I just got one I like even more than this recently. So now I just have like scarves and belts and stuff. I used to really like scarves and I had a bunch, but not so much anymore. I have this like maroon one. Um, it's nice, but I just don't really wear scarves much. Oh, it says it's 20% cashmere and 80% wool. Now I feel obligated to keep it. I didn't know that. I'm gonna sell it. I'll sell it. It's fine. <laughs> I didn't know that was cashmere and wool. That's funny. This one is super cool. It's an infinity scarf. Purple, my favorite color. Love it. But I never wear it. And then I own two belts. I have a brown one and a black one. Okay, so then I just have some undergarments to go through, which I'm gonna do off camera because you don't need to see my undergarments. I, I knew I was gonna get rid of stuff. I didn't think I'd get rid of this much, to be honest. And I didn't think I had that much to start with. I'll give you a quick overview of everything I have. Thank you guys so much for coming with me today as I tackled my closet. I hope this gives you some motivation to maybe go through your closet and realize that maybe there's a whole lot of stuff in there you don't really want or need. But I hope you enjoyed this and I will see you guys in the next one. I almost forgot to show you guys everything I'm getting rid of. Let me show you. Ignore the bins, but this is everything I'm donating. And those three-ish piles are everything I am going to sell. It was a good amount. I'm excited about it.